Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC, and I have the privilege to interview today James Hornick from Chicago. How are you, James? Good, thanks for having me on. Thank you for being here. So James helps people become better job seekers, which is very essential these days. And he's also the host of the Higher World Recruiting Insight podcast. So James, my first question for you is, during this pandemic time, how can job seekers stay calm? How can they have a plan or a schedule in order to find their ideal job or their next job? So I think personally, um, the way to stay calm is to feel like you have to make daily progress. You know what I mean? You have to make a daily goal, a daily plan. Um, and I think that um, the biggest challenge I see with job seekers is people fall in the trap of they just want to they just want to apply to lots of jobs, you know, so they want to, and, but the problem is that's not the most effective way to search for a job. Yeah. You know, as you know, like um, LinkedIn, all these places made it easier and easier to do a quick apply, but that makes it easier for everybody. So when you apply to a job, there might be literally hundreds of other people applying to it. And um, it's an easy way to feel like you're being productive, but not really. Yeah. Um, so our, my approach, I always advise people is a much more kind of proactive where you're setting up, you want to talk to people every day, you want to do informational interviews, you want to and informational interviews means having a conversation with people you're networking with the purpose of just trying to discover what's out there, and hopefully set yourself up to get considered in the future or to uh, get referred to other people that might have more immediate hiring needs, that type of thing. But just staying active and making sure you're trying to introduce yourself to more people and talk with them under, you know, any way you can. And do you think that is it okay for a job seeker once they apply to a job to reach out to the recruiter or the hiring manager via LinkedIn and introduce themselves? Absolutely. I think you should, I mean, any and all means possible. Um, I would contact, a, you know, the recruiter, the HR contact, as well as the hiring manager, if you think you know who that is. Um, there's nothing, uh, nothing wrong with introducing yourself um, and being more proactive about it. That's great. Thank you for those great tips, James. And for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask James a couple of questions and they will be posted on a daily basis. So it will be kind of a journey with us. You can check every day all the questions that I'm asking. If you like any of the questions, like and share. If you have any questions or comments, comment below on the video. And tune in next time for another great question with James.